Hey y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. I'm a mixed media artist and I love art journaling and that's what I usually teach here at Let's Make Art, but I'm gonna do a different project for you. I'm gonna make this postcard. Uh, Thanks, this is Keenan. You're welcome. Our art cheerleader, camera Hello. guy, all the things, fact knower. Thank you for sleeper coming on the welcome. job, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't sleep. I have snacks. <laughs> he snacks while I'm over here painting. Yes. It's fine. Um, I love doing these kind of projects and videos with you because it's our Let's Make Art Matter program. So it's just our opportunity to put some good vibes out in the world, make something for somebody else. And I know even though it seems counterintuitive, but when we show kindness to others, it helps us be a little kinder to ourselves. I think. So I think it's important as a part of your art practice to make art for others. And I love that we get to do that here. Yeah, that's exciting. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Let's Make Art Matter. We choose a recipient. Um, people nominate those, and you can nominate a recipient if you think of somebody. Um, <clears throat> it can be somebody who's having a hard time, someone who's who needs to be congratulated for something awesome in their life. I like that. Then cheer them on, and you know, so there's lots of scenarios where a Let's Make Art Matter card can be. But today we have Cheryl. So we come together to create small acts of kindness through art, and this month we're sending encouragement to Cheryl. She's the director of a school where she's been working tirelessly to navigate how to help students receive a great education while trying to keep everyone safe in the midst of this pandemic. To make matters worse, Cheryl lost her home of 18 years to a wildfire in Oregon. I'm so sorry. Dang. That happened in September. So we want to get together here and send some extra love and encouragement and sh to Cheryl through the making of art. So that's what we're going to do. Yes. And if you're a subscriber, you get a postcard in your box already addressed and stamped, ready to go. Nice. So all you have to do is make the art and drop it in the mailbox. If you're not, you can um, contact Customer Happiness team here at Let's Make Art and the email address is hello at Let's Make Art and you can ask for that address and paint this along with us. Um, simple supplies that we're going to use are going to be watercolor. We're going to use Tahoe blue, fuchsia, and black. We'll use a little bit of bleed proof right for these little dots. We're going to use this awesome gold zig clean color dot metallic pin mm. for this. Um, I would suggest a pencil to trace the shapes here. And if you have the bleed proof white container already, you can use that for the circle. If you have a yes paste container around, you can do that. Or even the masking tape that I'm gonna use is the right size. Isn't that crazy how they're oh, all exactly the same oh, interesting. Same size. So that's what you'll need. And I'm just gonna use a number eight brush. Whatever brush you have is gonna be fine. And I think that's it, we can get started. Booyah. Cool, all right. So I'm going to just tape this guy right to my surface. That painter's tape, that blue painter's tape, masking tape, whatever you got, it's gonna be fine. Washi tape works. Super glue, E6000. Okay, now you're getting a little crazy. Whoop. Whoop. I'm just gonna do it where it's covering a good amount for my border, but still sticking to the surface there and if you don't have masking tape you can totally just go to the edges and have a different looking one that's fine too oh you could experiment with the thickness of the borders yeah I think this one might be a little thinner than that one huh I like it though it's cool yeah just whatever you want to do it's gonna be fine and if you want thicker but only have thin tape you could do tape around just the edges and then tape like without it touching the surface. Oh yeah, you could do more tape if you wanted, mm -hmm. is that what you're saying? Do layers of tape? Mm-hmm. Like an onion or an ogre? Okay. An ogre? Uh-huh. You gotta explain that. Ogres are like onions, donkey. Oh. <laughs> He's quoting from Shrek. Shrek. I love it when you quote movies. But I don't want people to be left out if they don't know what you're talking about. So we got to tell them what you're quoting. I get it. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to start with clean water. I'm going to get my brush wet, tap it, and I'm just going to put water on this. I know you probably can't see it, but you just got to trust me. There's water there. We can see it. Got a little bit of a glare there. Is there on a little the side shimmer? Cam. A little. Mm -hmm. Let me adjust the side cam a bit for you. 
Okay, I'm gonna keep putting water on there. And I wanna make sure my tape is nice and down, otherwise I won't get that border I'm looking for. It's okay if you don't. Just, just paper, y'all. Okay, now that we got this all nice and wet, we can start dropping in some pigment, except for I forgot to put the paint on my tray. That was silly. So let's get some Tahoe blue. Some fuchsia. Here we go. Now, now we can see that side. And too, some black. Bit. Good. I'm glad because we want them to be able to see. I love yeah, that Keenan's like always looking out for y'all. Yeah, we like to see those explosions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So let's mix a little bit of the, well, I took a second. So I'm going to put a little bit more water on my paper so it's, it's ready. Okay. Just want to make sure that's wet when, where we need it. Okay. So I'm going to mix a little bit of the Tahoe and the black to get that darker blue at the bottom. And I'm that's just going to... That's a pretty blue. Thanks. I love it. Wow. Oh, yeah. I love it how it spreads in the water. That's cool. Yeah. It's cool. And let's mix some of the Tahoe blue with a fuchsia. Get us a little purple going on. Let's get that in there. And we can drop even more color. The old color combo. Oh, well, extra drops of color there. Yeah, so I'm, I'm dropping in pigment and then I'm dropping in some in other places. Okay, but you can drop in water on top of that too. Get crazy, I don't oh, know. Oh yeah. Sometimes, might be a little, that was probably a little too much water for. Nope. No? No such thing really. You know, just dip it in a cup of water and still look cool. I don't know if that's true. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll try it. I just want straight Tahoe in some of these spots. A pinky purple or purpley color. Purpler. It's more pink than purple. Pur purpler. Pinklier. Pinklier. And some Ooh, more this that. makes me think of bubble gum for some reason. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I get that. That's because of that fuchsia. Yeah, it's pretty. This looks really different than the one I did before, and I'm I'm into it. Yep, I'm digging it. Okay. I don't want to overwork it. I think it's, it's doing some cool stuff. I'm gonna let that dry for just a second. Yeah, it's gonna keep changing. Look how this is starting to do more stuff right there. Don't even like. It has a mind of its own. Drop a little more. Ooh, nice. Water in there. This is just clean water I'm dropping in now. This is way more explosion-y than the first one I made, but I like it. Just get excited. Okay, I'm really gonna stop now. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> it's so fun how watercolor disperses the pigment that way. And I mean, it has a whole mind of its own. It does the work. It's gonna be fun. <clears throat> okay, so we'll let this dry and then we'll do our next step. 
Hey, okay, so this is looking dry, feeling dry. Oh, I love how this turned out. It got so, like, it got a little blurry in places. And no, look at those hard edges. Oh, it's going to be good. So I'm just going to. Oh, gonna, snap. I'm just going to do this. The final reveal. I love this. It's so satisfying when I mean, you can do that. Join us today for the final reveal. <laughs> the final peel. The reveal. final repeal. <laughs> the repeal. repeal. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could have done the rest of the project on this without doing it, but I kind of like to move things around when I'm drawing. So. Yeah, no, I get it. Plus, it looks awesome when you take the tape off. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. So if you do an edge, then it'll look like that. If you don't want to, you can do it to the off the edge, to the oh. edge. You know what I'm saying? So you could do that too. Multiple options. Yes. So the next step is going to be us putting a circular something in the middle to get that. And I think I'll just use my tape since you can see where I'm drawing with that. But feel free to use whatever you got around. Okay. So I'm going to just put that circle. I'm just, I can see like kind of in the middle there. And I'm just going to draw a circle inside my tape with my pencil that I can see pretty well. Yeah. So this next one, I'm putting right under that guy. And I'm putting that tape right next to that circle because I'm drawing inside the circle, so it's gonna give us that little bit of space. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. And this moon is not a full moon, so I'm just gonna, whoop. I'm gonna come to like a third. Of Werewolves the... come out on full moons. Oh yeah. And then I'm just gonna draw a little squiggly to the third. Itty bitty squiggly line. You little then, squigs. So yeah. there's that one, and then the last one is going to be the skinnier moon, and then we'll do the same on the top. Night or day, you always want to be wary of the moon's posture. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can move this up. Does that help? Mm-hmm. My posture meaning I might have been in the way a little bit. Don't worry. Keenan likes to have a code for it, but then I think what people don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, that's my favorite part. It's like a, they're like, why does Kenan's really concerned with inanimate objects posture? <laughs> why does he care how a bird stands? Okay, now I'm gonna turn this around. See, this is why I liked having it untaped. Oh, call that the old topsy turvy. Mm hmm. T top, tippity top person. Oh, very nice. Okay, and then got that shape, and now I'll move this guy down. Or this girl. The moon could be a girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'll get our skinny one. All kinds of different phases for this moon. Teenage phase. <laughs> young adult phase. Well, I was thinking that it might be a nice reminder for Cheryl to know that we're all in different phases, you know? Yeah. So, okay, so now we have that, and then we get to do the last part, which is the gold. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to use this end of my pen, because we're not doing dots here. And I'm just going to color that in. Now I'm going to put it somewhere where it's comfortable for me to get the right angle to trace the circle here. I'm going to do my little squiggle thin. Part. So I just outline it and then I'll fill it in. And if your paper is at all a little damp, don't press super hard with your marker. To disturb the pulp of the paper that's already a little damp. Mine is, and I can mm -hmm. tell. So I'm just being soft. That's a good idea. But you may want to let it dry a little longer if you find that it's doing that. Ooh, yeah. Nice. What if instead of me being excited and saying nice, because nice is getting old for me, <laughs> what if I started saying decent? Ooh, decent. <laughs> decent? Yeah. Well, I feel like that's like not the best it could be, but it's okay. So I don't know. I might be, I think I might like nice better. Okay. Needs improvement. <laughs> no, get thank you. I get excited. I'm like, ha ha, yes. Needs improvement. <laughs> That'd be messed up. Yeah. I think I, I my art cheerleader is doing a great job. 
don't don't change anything. You're perfect just the way you are, Keenan. <laughs> My current art cheerleader phase should not change. <laughs> I don't think it gets old for someone to say a nice job to you when you're making art. I don't. I bet if you ask these guys and gals that are watching, y'all, you, you don't get tired of hearing nice job, do you? I don't. I mean, I like it too. That's true. A smile and a nice job goes a long way for me. Mm -hmm. huh. Here's a smile, buddy. Sometimes I sing it to the ladies that are still out doing their early morning walks in my neighborhood. I just roll down the window and I say, you're doing a really good job. <laughs> I don't get, I don't think they get tired of that. Maybe they do. I don't know. Initially Maybe they think they're I'm probably lady. confused. Why is that lady yelling at us? <laughs> no, I, I've told them. Oh, you have? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm good. just so impressed with y'all. Getting up in the morning, getting out in the world, getting your exercise. You're doing a really good job. And now I just drop by and say, you're doing a good job still. <laughs> That's you know. hilarious. I mean, I didn't start out yelling, you're doing a really good job from a complete stranger, although that would be fun, too. That would be fun. Hey, nice hair. <laughs> yeah, that might be weird. You look like you give nice hugs. <laughs> start yelling compliments out. That might be weird during a people. pandemic. I'm not going to lie. All right, now I'm going to do it. I love it. It's a great idea. This is so satisfying. I love coloring. Did you know that? Hmm. I did not know that. How long have you enjoyed coloring? <laughs> I can't even remember when I didn't love coloring. Wow. You should look into it as like a profession. Mm-hmm. Professional colorer. Professional colorist. Colorist. Oh, that's better than colorer. Yeah, well. Job title. Needs improvement or no. job title? Nice. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> you have done good work. <clears throat> Dude, I love how this one turned out, all those colors in the background. I feel like the gold kind of makes it pop even more. Oh, yeah. And it's funny how when I first started doing those little, I don't know, bursts, what are explosions? Mm -hmm. The technical term is blooms. Blooms, watercolor blooms. They look small, but then they grew into big, bigger blooms as it dried, which I think is really cool. Okay, last moon. Oh snap! Last phase. I kind of feel guilty covering up some of this pink because it's so pretty, but it's gonna pop when know, it has that a is over. A good, good. That is a good pink right there. The good news is this is a skinny phase moon, so it's not going to cover up a lot of it. Oh, true. Sorry, did I move it out of the, right, the way that I can see? That's okay. That's okay. It will be just fine. What if I started saying fine? Oh, that's fine. No? No, I think you're perfect just the way you are, Keenan. All right. I'll trust you. <laughs> I, I mean, even just like, ooh, it goes a long way with me, you know? Uh, oh, <laughs> could change that up. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you could, you could, I like your sound effects, so. Thank you. I wish I had more sound effects. Mine are all the same. I'm just making sure that I got all the spots for the gold. Oh my goodness. <sighs> This was wow. pretty simple to make, but I feel like it's pretty rad. So you can do this, all the phases of the moon as a, as a way to cheer Cheryl on in her life. And you don't have to make it this way. If you think of another thing that you want to send Cheryl, you can make it whatever you want and um, send it off and send those good vibes out to her. Oh, I love doing this. And I love seeing what you make. So if you want to take a picture of it before you mail it, you can do that and put it on our let's make art journals facebook group or hashtag on instagram let's make art journals thanks so much for making this with us we'll see you next time